Oh, it's a long time ago, but um, there was when Rutgers went into the Big Ten, there was a, a, a feeling that it was going to take a long time before Rutgers would actually beat the name program. But two years ago, Rutgers beat Michigan. Do you remind your players that heading into the game that it wasn't so long ago that you actually beat Michigan? I know different players, different coaches, and everything, but you have to remind them that beating Michigan isn't. All that far-fetched? No, uh, we, we don't even talk about just uh, you know uh, beating a team like Michigan. We just talk about competing with a lot of teams in this league. You know, uh, you, know you look at the history of uh, Rutgers within the league itself. Uh, it's competed uh, whether they've won or, or been in very close ball games with every team in this league, really, other than uh, Ohio State. Uh, so you know, you don't have to. Uh, you know, go back and talk about what happened. You know, a couple years ago, you just talk about the, hey, this team belongs in this league. Uh, you're not far off from from beating a lot of teams in this league. You just got to keep swinging, keep fighting, and uh, you know, stay uh, true to the process. And, and good things will happen. Is what we're talking about. How close do you monitor the weather? Uh, well, I mean, that's. Yeah, I, I mean, people are watching. It. I'm, I'm more concerned about our practice and, and uh, evaluating our football team right now. Whatever happens Saturday with the weather, it happens. Do you game plan for, for possible, you know, I, it doesn't sound like it's going to be that bad, it sounds like 20% of the time. No, I mean, we do, we talk, the weather always plays a factor in games. We're aware of the weather uh, based on uh, how bad it could be or, or the heat, you know, we, we have contingency plans uh, and, and adjustments that you have to make based on the weather and, and uh, the way it can affect the game, whether it's wind, whether it's heat, whether it's rain, whether it's snow, you know, whatever, you, you always have those conversations. So how, does, uh, how does safety depth look now that you're later in the week, you've been able to see more from guys? Uh, well, we're thin. You know, um, well, uh, right now uh, we got Saquon Hampton back and we're excited about that. He's been out uh, practicing. Um, he's uh, not 100%, but he's, he's, he's close. The receivers, you got to know where they're at. You got to know where Jake Butt's at. He's one of the best tight ends uh, in the country. Uh, you got to know where Julius Peppers is at when he's in there on offense. So uh, all positions are, um, you know, of high importance and high priority and, and uh, need to be on top of uh, their assignments and who they're aligned over based on the call. Speaking of linebacker, any idea yet if Greg Jones will be able to go? Uh, right now, it looks like Greg Jones is not going to be able to go. Um, Greg is going through some uh, evaluations uh, still to find out. Uh, um, from um, you know, his future from uh, the injury last week at Ohio State. He's walking around fine and feels uh, great, but um, we're not sure uh, what his future uh, will, will be yet. Could be that he might have to give up football? No, I'm not going to make any comments on that yet. We're just not sure what his, his future will be uh, yet. So we're still going through. It was a, a scary moment for him and uh, for everybody, and uh, we want to make sure that whatever is done, uh, return to play or not, that uh, Greg Jones' safety is, is first and foremost. Uh, quarterback play. Uh, how? What do you see from uh, Spate, their quarterback? Oh, he's gotten better every game. Um, you know, he's big. He's got a strong arm. He can make all the throws. He's making uh, pretty good decisions uh, with the football. Um, he's uh, uh, not putting the ball in harm's way, and um, he's he's pulling it down and running and, and doing some things with his feet also. Uh, but uh, I see a, a player that's playing with a lot of confidence, making a lot of throws, making good decisions, and just getting better each week. Anything different from Thailand in practice this week after getting probably his biggest workload in the game? No, uh, no. I mean, it's a, it, work is normal. Um, you know, getting reps and, and uh, trying to increase the number of reps that he gets and, and uh, the type of reps that he gets also. You had a couple of moments where a cart has come out on the field and, you know, the Howard uh, 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 player was taken off by cart. As a coach in those situations, you know, you had, had to keep your players, like, focused. I mean, how, how does it work when, when you know, those moments, those delays happen? Yeah, when, when something like that happens, your focus turns to the injured player on the field, whether it's one of yours or one of the opponents. You know, it's a um, violent sport, it's a physical sport, and the last thing you want to have happen to any player is uh, that he gets injured one, but uh, gets severely injured where, uh, there's a chance that he can't move or, or uh, walk or, or play the game again. So your, your attention goes immediately to, to that to individual. And uh, when it's time to return to play, then you got to get refocused and get uh, locked back in. It looks like a pretty full house for Saturday night. Huh? How excited are you about that? Uh, I would hope it would be a full house. The night game, uh, number four ranked team in, in, in the country coming. If, if we can't get a full house for this, uh, we're in trouble for the future. Uh, good. Uh, you um, obviously you want to you want to see him on the field as as least as possible. But Michael Centron's had a couple uh, a lot of reps, game reps in the last couple games. Uh, how do you feel like he's done in those games, and how do you feel like his progression has been from training camp to, to now? Uh, he, he's he's done some good things. He's been inconsistent at times. He's got a strong leg. He just got to uh, get more consistent so we can 
really win the battle of field position. He's helped us do that in games, um, and he's hurt us in a couple of games. He's just got to be more consistent, but I like his improvement. Michael's, uh, I think, got a chance to be an outstanding punter as he continues his career at Rutgers. The improvement that that kid has made since last spring has been remarkable. Uh, in spring practice, especially at the beginning of spring practice, I, I, I didn't know if he'd ever have a chance to be uh, what we would consider a legitimate Big Ten uh, punter, and he is. And uh, as long as he continues to, to go that direction and work on his consistency, uh, I think he can be an outstanding punter. Two more. In, uh, in recruiting, how do you feel about doing official visits in season compared to the postseason visits? Uh, it's all situational. Uh, you know, depending on where you're at with a recruit, uh, what else he's doing in his recruitment. Uh, if a player is only going to take an official visit to your school and take all the other ones after the season, I'm not for it. If he's going to take all in-season visits and you got to get in the game, um, I prefer uh, personally to have more after the season because you get to spend more time with the recruits, get a chance to build a relationship with them. During the season, uh, during a game week, it's hard because you're preparing your football team and it's just not the same. But again, it's all situational. The uh, fans get a kick out of it and recruits, I think, like the black uniform and so your players get a uh, kick out of it. Uh, I, I, you know, I don't know. I haven't been here before with him, so we'll find out. Um, for other places that you, you know you've done special uniforms, usually it, it uh, um, I, I guess you know helps uh, uh, the players get a little more into it, a little more excited, a little more enthusiastic, a little more oomph to it. But uh, you know, we'll see uh, what how our players respond. Uh, sounds like in the past it's been a, a pretty well received thing, both from players and fans. So excited to uh, go out there Saturday night and see uh, what happens. Thanks, coach. Thank you.